2021 SB Live Washington Virtual Media Day for Boys and Girls Basketball in the State of Washington. I'm Dan Dickow alongside Andy Bueller. We're talking with head coach of one of the powers at the 4A level in the state from Southwest Washington, the GSHL, Blake Conley. He's got his Titans rolling again this season. They've gotten a chance to get a couple games under the, their belt. Coach, you lost a big time player in Tanner Toulson. You've added a couple unexpected transfers. How has the season got started for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, five games in right now. Um, lost eight seniors from last year's third place team and uh, just very different group that we have uh, this year. We, uh, it's, it's, it's been good. Um, I wish, you know, just like everybody, I wish we would have had some more time to, to get, uh, to get used to each other and, and all that. But you know what, we're just very fortunate and glad that, that we're playing right now and that we've, we've been able to get five games and we'll hopefully get, uh, get even more. So it, it's been fun. It's been fast. Uh, it's been, you know, a, a season very different than any others. And I mean, learning on the fly, learning about our team on, on the fly. I mean, like we're, it, usually we know what the rotations are going to be and games are going to be, you know, or just or lineups are going to be things like that, you know, probably, you know, pretty early in the season. And I mean, we're still figuring out who we are, what the best lineups are. And, uh, but, you know, getting, getting a guy like Bryson Metz uh, to move in was, was obviously great. And he's, he's such a competitor and such a, such a, a spark plug out there. I mean, he does things on the court where you just, look at, you know, the, I'll look at my assistant and just go, oh my gosh. And, you know, put him alongside of, you know, an athlete like Araya Briscoe and two shooters like Caden Horn and Isaiah Vongnath. And uh, we're small, um, but we, uh, we got some other guys that uh, kind of trying to make up for that too. And so it's just putting the pieces together. It's been really fun to kind of, kind of see how it's, how it is continuing to, to evolve. Putting the pieces together in a short amount of time is something that all high school coaches in Washington have had to do in not having a summer basketball program or not knowing anything about fall basketball programs or, or conditioning leading up. What has been maybe the one biggest frustration for you as a coach? I think it's kind of, you know, as coaches, we get to, we get routines, right? Like, you know, I look at last year's practice plans and kind of see when did we put this in and what worked, how much, how many, how many different offenses or even defenses based on out of bounds plays did we have at this time? And it, it's just, you can't judge it by that. So I've, I've been guilty already of trying to put too much in with this group and not understanding that we didn't have a summer and how much that matters and that we have a new team and, and just understanding what works for them. So uh, I think that's like, that's been the biggest challenge and of me needing to either any, or, you know, or like, Oh, I haven't taught this concept. So I can't hold them accountable for that. Cause they don't, we haven't gone over that. Cause we've been so it's been so fast. So uh, you know, I, I think it's just trying to slow down, but also make sure we're, we're evolving along. So it's just like figuring out the pace. I think, you know, we've, we, a lot of us have been doing this for a long time, but nobody's ever been coaching high school basketball in these circumstances. And, and, you know, like I said, I'm so grateful and thankful we get to do it, but it's just, you know, that's like, it just feels kind of new. You're like a, a first year coach kind of in, in, in some ways. Some of those pieces uh, in, in the off season that you kind of knew as you started to kind of figure out what the team was going to look like, uh, Took a look down the roster and thought, hey, we, we might be pretty small this year. Um, but you guys are a, a program that's, you know, plays really fast, uh, obviously a lot of shooters and are well, equi well equipped to put a small lineup on the floor. What, what are the challenges of uh, sort of putting this lineup together and, and, you know, the size you guys have? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, last year I was so spoiled. I mean, we would constantly have five guys that could all switch every position, could all guard, uh, you know, there wasn't mismatches we want to avoid. And, you know, now we're, we're kind of thinking, well, we can't have this guy on this, uh, you know, on this kid. And, you know, we want this guy to stay on squeaky Johnson or we want this, you know, there's just so much, so many things that, uh, you know, that I've, I've had to thought about. Hopefully it makes me a better coach and, and us a better team. But um, I mean, we got so many dynamic playmakers. It's been about kind of figuring out um, where to put them, what they can do, uh, and then also like who's, you know, when do we, when do we want to have three of them on the court? When, do we, when can we have all four? Uh, and then when we do, who's that fifth guy that, uh, that can be on the court with that group. And we kind of found a kid, uh, one of our, our, a kid, he's been in our program uh, for, for three years, but uh, he's a, 
he's a stud football player. He'll be walking on a uh, preferred walk on at WSU next year named Jake Bowen. And, um, you know, he had 14, he's already had two games of 14 rebounds and uh, he's just been an absolute beast for us. And so he's kind of, it, when, when we have those four little guys in, uh, it's been nice to have him out there. We've realized that he's, he's a great piece to play with them. Um, and then we have three of them in that we can do, you know, do some other lineups. So just kind of figuring out, you know, when we're at our best, uh, when we need to rebound a little bit, more or better and, and what to have or um you know what uh who, who the best guys are in certain spots yeah he I, I didn't realize that jake was going to uh to wazoo i know it was initially san diego but uh, i remember you know football coach Roy rosenbach has said you know, whoever gets him uh they're getting a steal uh and it seems like that work ethic and just that ability to find the ball is translated uh sports for sure. Yeah, he's been great. And then, you know, Tobias Merriweather um, has, has been, you know, he, he told me an hour before practice started that uh, the first day started that he was going to play. I, I was, I, it was up in the air. Uh, so to get a, a competitor like that, an athlete like that, it's, it's fun to have him in practice and he's just, he's getting better and better every day too. So. Coach, usually during the winter time, you're busy preparing your team's practice plans, game schedules, uh, scouting of future opponents. Uh, that are coming up on your schedule. So you maybe not didn't have a chance to watch NBA or college games as much in the past as you did this year. Was there a team at the NBA level or maybe a college program that maybe you had a chance to really dive into watching what they do and trying to take pieces of that, implement it to your program and your philosophy? Yeah, that's like, you know, I watched, uh, I watched a lot of, you know, Michigan, Villanova, you know, some of those teams that do a lot of four out, five out sometimes, um, you know, some of those, those are probably the teams that I probably focused on, a, a, you know, mo more than others. But I don't know. I think some coaches I've heard, I've heard other coaches say this at the beginning of the quarantine, we all used, we all used all the time that we had to kind of to listen to, listen to podcasts and watch clinics and, and watch all this stuff. And it almost became like I had, you know, we all had too much in our, in our brains. So um, in all honesty, I kind of just cheered, you know, college basketball, I, I started to look at some stuff and figure out, you know, what can you do with four small, really dynamic guards that can shoot it and just, you know, teams that spread it out a lot. Um, but for me, it was, you know, cheering for Gonzaga, hoping they did well, but we certainly don't have anything in common with, with uh, Gonzaga in terms of the way they play. So it was more, you know, just looking at those teams that go four out, five out, um, and, you know, and just utilize, utilize space uh, to create and some of those things that, that my team is pretty good at. You're playing in a combined league, 3A, 4A this year, and uh, the 4A league, uh, 4A teams in the Vancouver area have been really competitive and, and that league race has been, uh, you know, you, there, there's not really a game off. And this year uh, you now prepare for your fourth year of a player who's developed, uh, you know, exponentially each year in Caden Perry. Um, as you guys prepare to play them and you've seen his maturation, uh, what's impressed you the most and, and uh, what is it like preparing for a player like him? Uh, it's terrible. And uh because he is uh, the thing that I'm impressed with most is that as a freshman or even as a senior, he's, he plays like somebody who's trying to make the team. I mean, it, it is, his effort level is so high. His motor is so there's, there's not been a, a day that I've been able to say, or a game that I've been able to watch where I say he's taking a playoff or he's letting the hype get to his head. And I mean, he just plays so stinking hard plus his athleticism and, and I mean, his, his skill has just gotten better and better as, as he goes on. So um, that's kind of what been one of the things that I think has been, you know, most uh, impressive to see. Um, you know, I, I mean, I was, I've been on, I've, I've been on record saying, I think he's going to, he's going to be a, a pro since he was a sophomore. And I mean, the kid is just so tough and, and preparing for him, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, it, it, maybe as a sophomore or freshman, we could say, let's try to keep him to under, 20 um but, you know but now it's it's just kind of figuring out how to win the game and you know whether uh you know i mean you're not gonna you're not gonna stop him very much so it's just you know really i think what we're gonna do for it you know is just obviously you have to you can't let him get 50 because he very well could but it's just figuring out how to win the game and, and how to what to what to do as an overall game plan if you spend the whole time on on Caden, it's you know you're you're climbing a battle. You just you just can't win because he's gonna he's gonna score and he's gonna dunk and he's gonna do his thing. He's gonna affect the game in every aspect that like he does. So uh, it's fun because I could honestly go another twenty years of coaching and maybe never coach against a kid like uh, like Caden Perry. So I'm I'm gonna be a huge Caden Perry fan after 
after uh, this year, but uh, I'm now it's just trying to figure out how to beat Battleground. Some great stuff throughout our conversation. Uh, one lighthearted question for you before we let you get going. I see the Star Wars poster in the background. Today is March 5th or May 5th. Yesterday was for any Star Wars fan, May the 4th be with you. What's your favorite sports movie of all time? <laughs> uh, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of old school in, in Hoosiers is gotta be probably my favorite, uh, my favorite sports movie. Um, although, uh, I, I really like, uh, remember the Titans and it's not just because we're, we're, we're union and the Titans, but those are, those are probably the, the feel good ones that are, are the go-tos for me. Awesome. Well, coach, we appreciate the time for Andy Bueller and myself, Dan Dickow and everyone else at SB Live Washington. We wish you guys nothing but the best of luck as you continue on with your season. And thanks for joining the 2021 SB Live Virtual Media Day. Thanks, guys.